sector. Meanwhile, citizens of Greenfield, Iowa, continue to clear the debris left behind by that tornado that struck in their town on Tuesday. Officials say 153 homes were destroyed or damaged by that EF3 tornado. The FEMA administrator and Governor Kim Reynolds were out there today assessing the damage. They made some comments, too, on the way the community has come together to help clear the debris. A representative from the National Weather Service out of Des Moines explains how the strong tornado that tore through Greenfield and the areas around it actually touched down. We've surveyed three separate long track tornadoes with a damage path totaling over 130 miles across the state. Uh, tornadoes initially developed over Montgomery and Page counties on Tuesday around 2.45 in the afternoon. Two out of the, those three tornadoes uh, strengthened as they raced northeast at speeds of up to 50 miles an hour. So that, at that speed, that's about a mile a minute. So the damage path across Greenfield is about one mile long as the crow flies, which means it took just about one minute for the, dem the devastation in Greenfield. FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell that said that being on the ground at a disaster scene like this makes it even more heartbreaking. As much as I've been watching the videos and seeing the pictures uh, of the tornado damage, it just does not do it justice when you're here on the ground and you can see the homes gone or you can talk to a member who lost their home and they shared their story of how they just barely escaped death, you know, and where they decided to stay um, to keep safe during the storm. Those are the kind of things that you just can't get unless you're here on the ground and talking to people and seeing the impacts firsthand. Governor Reynolds says she has already filed a national disaster declaration to receive federal emergency funding. The FEMA administrator says the agency received that request and will work to push that through quickly to clear the way for federal assistance in that town where five were killed and more than 30 were injured.